Hey, old friends, Caribly Crafty Orm is back again. And like always, my mantra is safety first. So today's video is going to uphold with our fun little theme of safety in a way I hope you all enjoy. Today, what I'm showing you are the various shields that I've crafted. When I say various, I mean two. But, um,. It'll be a little interesting. Uh, one is human, it's this one. And then the next one I'm gonna show you is Dwarven, so you can kind of see that comparison for the fantasy fans out there. And uh, for practical reasons, I'll explain what they're made of. And um, the subtle differences is one of them is for uh, one of my daughters who's right-handed and one is for one of my daughters who is left-handed. Um, also, they are meant for different fighting styles. I'll explain that too as briefly as I can. So. Um, because shields aren't just for making that wonderful wall of protection to stop enemy blows. Shields are also used as a defensive weapon themselves in a lot of instances, shield bashing and so forth. Also, different shields are good for different things, like you'd rather have a round buckler for forming a phalanx with your friends and getting spears through those edges but keeping them nice and tight so you can protect all your lovely vital organs. A tower like this is a little bit better for somebody who's maybe on a horse and wants to cover their flank a little bit better, things like that. So different styles of shields are also um, require a little bit of different thought and different, um, different work. This one right here, like I said before, is a tower. Um, that means just a tall, uh, narrow, blocky style shield and this is for my daughter who's right-handed so see my arm goes through here you hold the handle very super 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 simple um what i used though was uh an aluminum broom handle then how i needed it uh screwed in this wood was actually a piece of scrap plywood i found outside um and uh the remains of the of an old comforter, the rubber off of a uh, an air mattress, a couple of screws, and she's good to go. The next one is the dwarven shield. Um, I use this flimsy kind of collapsible plastic around the edges just to make it look nice. This one's more aesthetic than anything because this one's for my four-year-old. Um, and it's, uh, it's fun for her to carry with the wooden swords, but even at her age, it's a little heavy. So I did everything I could to just make it light. It's not actually supposed to, you know, stop any damage. So it's, it doesn't have to be made out of sturdy material. Um, the inside of here are slats of mismatched, I might add, slats of particle board to even it out. I rounded it off and padded it a whole bunch with, um, with, uh, air mattress fabric. And that way too, you know, four year olds can be a little reckless. I don't want her to, you know, be like smack her brother with it or fall on it or anything like that and get hurt. Safety's always first. Um, I used the remains of a clean shop towel, but, uh, usually when I turn them into rags, I just rip them off in sections instead of trashing an entire towel. Um, a, uh, a sheet strap and um, men out there you might need a little explaining on this see what a sheet strap is is when you make a bed and you don't want to have to make that same bed over and over and over and over and over again you can sheet put one of these on the straps and it holds them or on the sheets and it holds them together um, but uh, all joking aside yeah more aluminum for the handle I love my nice pliable bendable aluminum tubes and then this was actually uh, the backing of a candle sconce that I never used because it's wood and I don't understand why anybody would make wooden candle sconces, but it looked pretty. So took it off, painted it blue and ta-da, dwarven shield. And as you'll notice, my left-handed daughter, the shield goes on the right hand. So those are my shields, human and dwarven. Um, like always, thank you guys tremendously for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, like ratings are appreciated, but even more so is your opinion. So feel free to leave as many comments and suggestions 
in the comment section down below. You know where to find it. Um, thank you again. Uh, safety is always first, but no matter what, have fun. Thanks for watching.